Greetings subscribers, all four of you. Today I'm presenting a plan to study lean angles of motorcycles while in turns, specifically how much difference there is, if any, between two motorcycles. I've heard that lean angle is a combination of speed, rider lean, curve geometry, and bike size. I plan to test the bike size assertion. My hypothesis is simply that two different sized bikes will have different lean angles in a turn. The test concept is rather simple. I will videotape two different motorcycles at four speeds and measure the lean angles. I plan on doing a total of 80 runs in order to get an average angle for each bike at each speed. The two systems under test will be the two motorcycles that I own. Uh, I, I'd like to test more, but I only own two bikes right now. The first bike is the Honda Grom. It's a really small motorcycle, and there's not actually that many motorcycles on the road as small as a Honda Grom. The second bike is a Suzuki Gladius. It's a medium weight bike, though it's double in weight, taller, with larger tires and wheelbase than the Grom. These differences in dimension and weight might cause a different lean angle. I don't have any requirement for specialized equipment. The test resources are not really extravagant. I need a camera to capture the images of the motorcycle leans, and then I'll use video and image editing software to take measurements. Like any other test, there's going to be some constraints. Um, mainly, there are some test constraints that I will not be able to overcome in this particular study. One, I only have two bikes for comparison. Uh, my video taping equipment and skills are rather limited and are not expert by any sense of the word. Though I hope that doesn't negatively impact the data collection. My tools for measurement are not exactly precise, no laser measurement device or anything like that. I just plan on using the images with an overlaid protractor to take the measurements. But the standard method that I will use should overcome the imprecise actual lean angles. If I measure each trial in the exact same way, I should be able to compare the data. And finally, each bike will have a slightly different seated position. Um, so this just becomes yet another variable that might help explain a difference in lean angle. While executing the test, I will need to eliminate variables that could impact the data. First, I will ensure that I don't lean my body into the turns. This means my shoulders should be square with the bike. Second, I must hit the target speeds at the apex of the curve. Third, I must keep only one rider for all the trials to eliminate rider size and weight variances. Fourth, the camera must have a static location and position. Finally, the entry and apex points must be static. An early or delayed entry or apex point can change the geometry of the curve. The use of 10 trials per bike per target speed should reduce the variance to gain an average for comparison. The test course will be designed for the camera to capture the apex point on the curve. It will also allow for the bike to be on a circuit path to more quickly capture multiple trials at a time. After visiting a site that I thought I'd use as my test location, I decided that I should either use a basic rider course site or a DMV test site because then there'd be no traffic and no one's going to complain about me doing 80 runs around in a circle. As shown here, the image analysis will simply use an overlaid protractor to gain a measurement in degrees. However, this image does not have the front and rear wheels aligned. The test images will be measured at the point where both wheels align. The data analysis will show the lean angle difference, if any, of the different bikes at the various speed marks. If the data analysis shows a difference of lean angles, then the hypothesis would be supported. I don't see this as being a definitive study or absolute proof of the hypothesis, though it will be indicative. My ultimate goal for this study is to kind of act as a starting point for more motorcycle studies. Uh, perhaps the, a similar study could be done for a single bike with added weight or maybe even a variable of the rider lean. There's definitely plenty to study. If you all have any ideas for additional motorcycle studies, please let me know in the comments below. And now here's some footage of me visiting a test site that I later rejected in favor of a uh, basic rider course or a DMV test site. Okay, so my next video idea is a uh, comparison study of two bikes. Maybe I can find someone else to add a couple bike types and help uh, get some measurements. But comparison study between bikes 
at different speeds going through a single standard size corner with their shoulders squared with the handlebars while taking the corner and see what the lean angles are. And here's that corner I'm going to use as a measurement. Um, essentially, I'll have to set up the, uh, the camera. It's like right about here. Pointing straight in this direction. And then I'll take it go, uh, going at different speeds. I, I say 4, 10, 15, 20, and maybe 25. 4, 5, how about just 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 maybe. Uh, I know I could do 25 on my Rebel on this corner right here, but let's we'll see. Should get some chalk and mark it up. And it's it's kind of downhill, but I think that yellow um, curb there can be used as my level. My uh, you know the zero degree plane right there then I could measure the I don't know I can't measure the front tire because that's gonna be turned maybe I should ah oh man you're right maybe I should be going backwards I, I should be measuring the rear tire because that's the one that would show the lean yeah that yeah yeah so I'm gonna have to come from this direction go up there and measure the speed um, I still like using that yellow curb as the uh, horizon. Hor horizon? Yeah, great. Um, yeah, I think that'd work. Um, it's still a bit too cold today and it's going to start raining soon, so I can't get any footage in today. But um, I think I can get some measurements. I don't have to actually set the camera that close because uh, I can zoom in on the video editing software. I don't want to put the camera on the road anyway. I think it something about this height, so two feet off the ground. That has to be steady. Um, right on this manhole cover, that, and then that'd be uh, kind of uniform. Straight this way. It'd be coming from this way. Right as I take that turn, I should be able to measure the lean angle. The, the problem is looking at your capturing the speed, making sure I'm accurate on the speed. It almost seems like I need two cameras and then like a, a marker on the ground right when I would capture um, the speed. Um, let's see, how would that work? Yeah, I can use some chalk. Really? It's not a that's 16 feet to that apex. Curve dimensions really matter. As long as it's the same in every one and I'm, I capture the speed, I can capture the comparison difference in the lean, lean angles. So the actual measurement doesn't matter because they're all going to be on the same, going at the, comparing the same speed, same corner for two different bikes. At four to five different varying speeds. Let's just see if I can't do 20 around this thing. <laughs> the thing is I have to capture myself right at that spot. Fifteen's easy enough. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get twenty. Five. I know I could get twenty five on the Rebel. <laughs> See, yeah, different bikes have uh, different comfort levels. Even if I do five, ten, and uh, fifteen. Okay, twenty, 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 
The problem with coming from this side though is um, such a sharp curve right there. I mean, it's not, it's, it's a decreasing radius coming from that other direction. And I almost think that using the, um, the other side, see it, this, this side's a little more even coming around. So if I were to put the camera, so I need to get the rear end of the bike. And I like having that yellow line as the horizon. This this horizon is not good. Well, the tree is going straight up. That'd be a co good comparison. Yeah. Angles like that. Oh, like that. I'm sorry. Use the tree as a uh, 180. Or zero, and then comparison to the lean angle, I'd get my lean angle. Just have to set up something, uh, could probably just set it on the ground because it's a little higher. Look like right on that line, pointed directly at the edge of that curve. And then capture the speed right here. And capture the speed and lean, lean angle right there. I'd like to be able to get up to 25, but. There's 15. 15's easy. I, I've been with enough practice runs I can get up to 20. So, okay, 5, 10, 15, and 20. 